I welcome you to the great session of today's from Dr. Ashok Kumar Thakur, sir. So he is born and brought up from Uttar Pradesh. Uh, he is alumni of Delhi University, an ex-serviceman. Welcome, sir, uh, for this honorable uh, session, uh, wonderful session from your end. So welcome from this program. And let me introduce for a few minutes about the sir. If I want to introduce, it takes hours together or days together. Let me combine together it in uh, two to three minutes or five minutes about it. And later I'll give it uh, the session. You can listen his wonderful session as well from his end. So in 2002, he established an affordable private school called Muni International School. He went through personal pain of not being prepared by the education system to achieve his highest potential he observed that this was common to most people this drove him passionately to take ownership of changing the present education methodology that would help in inculcating values and skills in human being one of his most significant contribution has been the simultaneous amalgamation of values and skills in the learning process this highly coherent combination is a secret sauce behind his change maker school being passionate about the education sector, he left his business and started a school through modest means. Being a hardworking, self-made man, his main aim has been to spread education in society and felt the need to start this form, the lowest strata of society. He and his faculty have a pure intention of letting no child being deprived of any opportunity and to maintain, increase and diffuse knowledge. He encourages scientific research and training among his students. He strongly believes that every human being is born with unique talent and equipped with genius in his mind. And every individual should be developed to achieve his highest, highest potential. He also believes that in existence, there is a, not a single thing without purpose. The school radically reimagines education. Its very purpose structure spaces to make learning dialogue reflexive and student-centric. It adopts the Ekalavya model of creation, group reciprocal uh, system of peer learning that decentralizes a teacher's authority and reconstitutes the teachers as motivated and facilitates learning through guided discovery. So like what he has, uh, his purpose was never to start many schools from the outset. His purpose was to start an experimental school in which students come from diverse background and live in diverse social and cultural contexts, the successful learnings and meaning emerging out of such school could be shared and amplified by schools around the world. So he has Delhi has 600 plus schools, MAS schools and methods have reached several states in government and private schools as well. In the state of Gujarat, his methods has been estimated to impact 35,000 government schools, which cater to around 80 lakh students in the state of Haryana, the government has set up permanent resource group to re retire, train the trainers in Muni education system. In the state of Maharashtra, around 31 tribal schools in Palgar are being impacted by Muni education system. Principals of reputed model schools in Delhi were sent by Delhi government to train in Muni education methods. So is unique personal method that emerged out of his years is he has been able to make students with minimum education background literate in a few days another innovative method that has emerged at the school has been able to shorten the academic period using the eighth grade students have been able to conflate eighth and ninth grade syllabus into a single academic year so likewise uh, ekalavya model has been very popular in his methodology of teaching and coming to his uh, is uh, is going to UN SDG Global United Nations Sustainable Development. MA students are able to appreciate and understand the need of for sustainability and their role model as well. Coming to the Oclots, UNESCO has highly appreciated uh, innovative methodology recognized as change maker school by Ashoka Foundation USA. Invited as a speaker at Bet Asia 2020. Excellence in School Education Award 2019 at the British Parliament on 20th November uh, 2019, regarded as India's number one based on city, state and country level, announced and awarded by Education World magazine for three consecutive years. 
recorded as Delhi's number one, NCR's number one and number two announced and awarded by Education World Magazine for 2018. Muni International School has been voted number one on state level, Delhi NCR level, India level in Education World India School. So if I continue his accomplishment, it goes hours together. Uh, I can speak about his uh, uh, achievements, I can say. So let me stop from here about uh, giving more time for Sir to speak about the topic of the day. It's uh, another interesting topic. How to imbibe values in modern education? Is it through books or methods? Methodology is the topic of the day. So uh, I welcome once again and over to you, sir. Please have, throw your the precious knowledge on as as well. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi sir. Thank you. So nice introduction. And I think you have gone through all the things. Thank you. And one of my close friends, CA, CR Dhawalgiri is also on the board. So nice. Dhawalgiri sir, welcome. Good morning. And good morning to all Rotarians, Dr. Yogi Mahara, Yogi Devraj ji, Dr. Fasal, Fasal Mahmood ji, uh, Rotary Club, District 3190, and all listeners. Very good morning. And today I'm going to reveal you how we can add values in modern education. Actually, education is manifestation of perfection already exists in human being. It's a very famous proverb by Vivekananji. And my faith is that ki every human has tremendous scope of potential, capacity, capability, and we have to increase his eligibility. Nothing else. Everybody, if we count 750 crore people are there, means 750 crore possibilities are there. We have to make it possible. And this is the job of the education only. See, no parliament, no any order, no any notification or anything can change the world. It is only education by which you can change with the very less cost and with very less efforts because every child goes to school. So this is my affirmation that if you want to do revolution in society, education is the way. And that is very easy and it's common all over the world. Today, my topic is how to imbibe values in modern education. Is it through books or methodology? Dear friends, education is a combination of skill and values. You cannot see on the one side only. Like the coin. Every coin has the two sides, not two sides. It has many sides. So in skill, you know, to how to solve the day-to-day -day, day -day problems, how to perform it best, it is required, 100% required. Now comes on the value side. What is the values? Generally, some of the people or most of the people thinks values are I'm giving you money, you give me the work, this and that. These are values on different level. We have to work on the universal human values, which is common all over the world. If you are not working on that, it means you are creating a person for India, for Afghanistan, for this and that. But the world will be peaceful, live with happiness only when the every child will Every country, every school will produce a global citizen with universal order. Like the Bharatiya Darshan, what it says, Vasudev Kutumkam means everything which is generated from this earth is from my family. And if you find the relation with anyone, you cannot cheat them. You only do this mischiefs and rough and wrong when you don't feel relation with them. So values are what? Actually, values are the virtue, virtue, principle or concept by which 
a human being to live in harmony with himself or God at large. It is a principle. So, there are only two th entity in the existence. One is tangible and second is intangible. Whatever is tangible, you see it and then you understand. Whatever is intangible, you understand it, then you see it. Like a house, it's a tangible. You see it and you understand. It is a place where the people will live. It is a place where you can hire and you can make it in a best design. You, you understand almost what purpose of this house is. But trust, respect, caring. First you understand, then you find it. That what is the meaning of the trust? It's an intangible existence, entity. So there are two things, tangible or intangible. Now, in present education, actually we are creating well-filled mind. Well-filled mind, not well-formed mind. We are bombarding information on every child. If you open a Google or search engine or anything, you will just press a button, you will find millions of the information, thousands of the information regarding that. So we are preparing nowadays in modern education, well-filled mind instead of well-formed mind. See the irony in present education. Every child in the whole world, past 20 years in education, from KG to PG, means lower KG, KG, upper KG, and from 1st to 12, 12 that year, 3 this year, and then next 3 year in graduation, and 2 year in post-graduation. It totally comes 20 year, or 35,000 hours. I'm not talking about the money, how much money he spent, because it depends on their status and where they take their admission. See, every child, if he formally go to school, then he gives 20 of his precious year to the education and see the result. When I see back Bhagwan Mahavir and Guru Nanak Ji, after 12 years of hardship, they become Bhagwan Mahavir. One person become Bhagwan Mahavir and second become Guru Nanak. And in second case, one Siddharth named Prince, after six years, his self-exploration, he becomes Mahatma Buddha. Buddha means he is pure with the all answers. He becomes Mahatma Buddha. While in our education system, after passing 20 long years and giving 35,000 hours to our education sector, there one person becomes Mahatma Buddha or in our school education or the, our education system, our children become Mahatma Buddha. There it becomes Mahatma Buddha, or here we are making Mahatma Buddha. After 20 years of the education, child is seeing here and there. He looks like an ox. Generally, I ask the people, who has given the birth to an ox? People say, cow has given the birth to the ox. I said, no. Then the people surprise. What are you talking? The cow has given the birth. I said, no. Cow has given birth either to either, either to the male or female, a cow or that male uh, male pers, male entity. But the it is a human being who has turned the male entity in ox. He don't understand what for he is. Neither he can give the milk nor he can generate childrens. So. There we have done a mockery with one, one animal. We have made them ox. It is only for the labor 
nothing or for the patients here we have done in education with every child we have made them ox without use we have created them now in present education we are producing skillful mindless or little bit mental slave people and it's not all of sudden you cannot say that it has happened just in this in 70 year or 100 year or just in this country or that country it is all planned or design by king frederick william 1710 to 1730 in porusia to make the system in such a way that you get like minded citizen or uniformity in thought work and deed from there it reached to the remain parts of europe usa and other places and it becomes mandatory to every family to send their children to form to fill their mind instead of forming their mind so it is very good job we did and then after whole world is doing the same method everywhere whole world is doing the same method what they are doing three works are going on education three only three works what first is transfer of information from teacher to student from books to student from internet or smart classes to student it is called transfer of information second storage of information by practicing memorizing learning by doing or so many other method it may be montessori it may be anything it may be playing method but total purpose is to store in the mind of a child and the third one which is very important representation of information by name of examination it is happening everywhere in the world maybe it is african country or asian country or europe or america or anywhere everywhere happening this there th three works in a different way somewhere the storage is going in well form somewhere the examination is the leading work but happening this all three only transfer of information storage of information and representation of information by name of examination now in modern age i am not talking about the modern education in modern age when the technology has improved well and one pen drive type of the instrument has come then why we are doing this hard labor or endurance of the children why don't a child bring a pen drive and give it to the teacher madam this pen drive is certified whatever you will transfer it will keep store or whatever you want to ask ask this pen drive don't ask me don't kill my childhood this pen drive will give you exact answer whatever you want in modern age the pen drive is there if i want to go bengaluru or the usa or anywhere the road are connected there a, a river may be there from if i go to usa there water is there but i go by the plane i go by the rocket or i can i i am trying to find the fastest thing when the modern in modern technology things has come the why we are not living the old way if the pen drive is there then why we are killing, killing children's childhood for just for transferring storage and representation so this was the question in front of me now i will come next to my steps because preaching is not my job sermon was not my requirement so in contents there is no big changes it was it is in advanced form so many contents are there so many things are there and it's all in either in the book form or in the hard disk form or in the pen drive or whatever in the stories in e books i heard from somewhere ki that there is a library in russia if we put their books just behind of each others they can take three round of the word 
by the one library yesterday when i was searching how many books are there then i found it is near to the equal quantity of the human beings this much books has written and every book has some information it may be similarity among them but it has the information in different languages so the books writing of the books has done well and speaking has also done well lot of the information lot of the sermon and preaching is there every parents every government every agency all institutes they want that the child should be do good they provide the books they says ki please read it read at least 10 books per year so many instruction and direction and successful practices are there but result is what it surprise everybody it surprise to everybody when i go to any school i find there the word is written there on the common places and the main place ki vidya dadati viniyam vinyad yati patratam but what the result is we have not produce even a single satisfied man what the result is you can judge yourself better the stories are so many stories are there if this is happening this is happening but on the larger scale when i see that it is from family warming to global warming it goes there then after assessing this much problems evaluating the results because we have reached to the level of the global warming and some of the scientists are saying that we have to leave the earth in next 30 year 50 year 100 year and we have to find another satellite or the grah then i a smile comes on my face in this earth you have spoiled in 1000 year i can give you assure you or guarantee you that, that satellite you will demolish in 30 50 or 100 year because we are not changing human being we are just changing the outsides if we change ourselves everything will be changed then the, this earth has the capacity to improve itself if you will not improve yourself the earth has the way of by the this all volcanoes this all this tufan and this all by that way it will change and the first impact will come on the human body only no first impact will come human body then it will go to the animals then it will go to the trees later on it will goes on the material world we are not understanding that and it is only and only possible by the education no need to do for any revolution for this industrial or the financial or this and that just change the education because every child by the king frederick william system every child is bound to come schools but we are not doing that we are just running behind the materialism and this all so let us work on that so from books books gives you information but methodology it gives you real time experience a child when he learn how to eat food it comes by the method it takes many time he do the practice to put the food in right place in his mouth later on being as a mature we can throw the food on the air and we can catch by our mouth we have learned it well so by reading books it never come to that level some some people can connect it but as per my opinion we have to go on methodology side more and books are also necessary it's a require but method are superior than that now by this way if we are not working on that then education has become pendulum between idealism and materialism and big change cannot be possible by sermon and preaching so methods are required today i will talk what i did in my school after assessing this all i will not refer anything and i will not say ki previous things and the books and the grant 
or the custom or the traditions were wrong what i feel that i will discuss with you that this is i did for changing a human being and i did it in delhi in a very modest area and the level because i believe the, uh, generally people knows that delhi is a place where all state peoples are there every next neighbor is from the different state <clears throat> and what happens ki the diversity is too much the financial diversity their thought process their custom culture everything is different in one mohalla you can find if the 50 house is there you can find the 40 culture and financial diversity you can find it so whatever i did i will discuss with you because when i read the khalil gibran 1893 to 1930 a lebanese american when i read him really 100 year before he wrote your children are not your children they are the son and daughters of the life longing itself and thought they are with you yet they belong not to you you may give them your love but not your thoughts in the end you are the bow from which your children are as living arrows so you have to work on that level let me start what i did because time is very short and yes oh so nice so muni education model is step towards excellence muni is my mother name generally people think that i am very holistic or the very holy person and this all so it is my mother name though i am a very holy person i believe in the bhartiya darshan of the coexistence and this all but muni is my mother name so i want to clear it ki it's on my mother and i am ex serviceman from indian army so two things first years of my life means up to 30 year i i was prepared in such a way ki i respect my country and everybody should respect their country because being a indian doesn't mean being a global citizen doesn't mean ki you lose your identity it means to whole world being a indian how you will fulfill where you are the master universality doesn't mean that you lose your identity it means from your identity how you can help the world because every nation can is has its own culture own character so how by your culture your character you can help the world in living happily in harmony and to remove the global warming our vision what the our vision was a space for brave new world where every child is a change maker with 21st century skill and can afford to participate develop and exercise means we want to produce global citizen with universal order this was our vision means i am not going to produce the child for india afghanistan africa europe or whatever we are producing the children for the global citizen with universal order vasudev kutumbakam we are fulfilling that part we are not counting the world as a village we are counting the members all citizen of the world are my kutum part are my family part whole world is a family it's not a village actually i thought that there there are millions of the schools are there in the whole world what they are doing they are just imparting what has happened in science in mathematics in history in economics and others they are doing good but what the result is because what i believe is a school is a place where a child get introduced to what the world is so we have to work on that so the school are doing good they are doing good but what the result is we have to consider result also we have to take the accountability of that also so i open one school it is a experimental come exemplary school means after fulfilling the basic need of the schools 
what is the purpose it's experimental means what means whatever the learning gaps are there you have to find the innovation and fulfill that gap and children should be as example of fulfilling that gap so my school i open as a experimental and exemplary school in every district in every part of the world you will find a school for the best people everywhere pratibha school is there center school is there or so many excellency school is there but what about people like me who are not capable in society we are the problem children from the pratibha school and the excellency school they are not the problem and you are not considering us you are considering the best only think about okay. us also because we are in the good numbers then you create a proverb if 10% people are generally bad 10 12 15 whatever is there and 85% people are good sorry you have to change your perception actually 85% people are bad 10% people are without any discipline without any aim they are they are very selfish on the very selfish mode you have to don't a uh, glamorize the 85% they are just a silent see the ratio 10 or 15% bad people are there and 85% people they are useless so what i think if we have to work for awakening of the 85% people it is their responsibility to manage this 10% or 15% people so i open this school and i request to the whole gor all governments all the institute or peoples ki you please establish one experimental come exemplary school because we are not worry about the best children of the school or the community or the area we are worry about the children who don't reach on the level people government ask me ki why don't you think about the dropouts i says no there is no dropout they are forced out they are not a dropout at all because they are bored with your education they find it odd when they work outside of the school they are not finding relevant to their life so they leave the education there are so many other reasons also but they every dropout child has a reason so don't work on a dropout work on your system first so i opened one ex- experimental come exemplary school to show the people because people don't learn by their own mistakes people don't learn learn completely by their own mistake they learn by the someone success how he is doing so i open this experimental come exemplary school to show them ki how by the less infrastructure less faculty and this less other privilege with the less resources how you can produce the best result i invite everybody to come and see and advise me what the best we can do because i don't claim that i am doing the ultimate no the space is there to the best now for turning this kind of revolution what is required it's a value based education it is the answer of the family warming to global warming if you want to change the global warming or remove the global warming the value based education is required what i so told you in the earlier ki education is the combination of skill and values earlier skill was more required now the machine do best job in skill better than the human being now values are required we are producing millions of the engineers and this skillful people but values it's totally out of the course you can find a best doctor but you cannot guarantee him he is not going to do any wrong you can find the best politician but you cannot guarantee a politician is giving for the unity in the society while his own family is not with him so we have to work on that by this we can bring the best things to our world a parliament cannot do anything the rules cannot do anything it is we people 
who are in the education, they can do the best thing. So value-based education, I'm advocating for that. We have to work for that. And I will share, Rami sir, we can share this all PPT to everyone. It will be there. Okay. Sure, sir. So after value education, guided discovery. You have designed content, you have added the values in that. Now how we will teach our children? It will be in the form of guided discovery. Means knowledge will be discovered by child under guidance of teacher. Teacher is not going to hold the all time hand of the child and to take him and to make him paralyzed. No. That's why I told you, actually we have made the mental slave, mindless people. Our job is to create the guided discovery environment where the teacher will take care of the child, but he will not hold the hand permanently. That's why I say is now the job of the teacher is going to change very rapidly. Earlier teachers were required. Now there is a so many search engine, Google, and so many other apps are there. We don't need the teacher. We need the Guruji. Guruji means what? Who is the facilitator? Who is the motivator? Who is the supervisor? Who is the partner in the possibility of a child? So we need a Guruji. We don't need a teacher. Teacher's job is taken by the machines and so many apps and so many companies and Khan type, academy type, these all things. So education should work on a guided discovery. It's a self-guided discovery where he can move fast. The picture what you are facing there, you are seeing that every person lives in the four status. One, experience. Second is idea. Third is behavior. And fourth is work. Idea means thought. Generally, the whole world in modern education is working either on a behavior or on the work. But we believe we have we work on the thought. When the thought P2, we strong the P2, P2 goes to P1, and under the impression of the P1, then people behave or work. So we work on the thought level in this Muni's model. Now, what new I added? I added relation, order, and coexistence in every chapter. After adding this. In every chapter, what happened? Many existence of many books finished. No environment study, no value education book study, nothing. Everything finished because every chapter is connected with the in relation. In relation with whom? With the material world, plant, animal world, and the human knowledge order. So all this is connected with this four. And what is the order? What is the design for that? And how this chapter can help to sustain, survive the all food world. So I added this all. And after adding this, really, all children are perfectly, you cannot move them here and there. And they are doing very good. Then, how you can recognize the educated person? The question was there, how we can recognize, how long we will ask him, what is your degree, what is your certificate, what is this? Why this certificate was very old. People asked me, what, how many number you got in 10th class? I said 47%. But I was full at that time, not presently I am full. This certificate belonged to 80, some 1984. And you are talking to me with, with me in 2022 and asking my old certificate. So what we designed, if you are educated, you must be four things. First, you must be stay healthy. You must be healthy. Doctor is not required. Because if you cannot keep your body healthy, how you can keep guarantee that you are educated? Healthy first from mind, then from body. The second, to lead life prosperous. You know what your needs are there. Because in education, we have introduced keep. Our Saktai needs are Un, unmatched. We have introduced this kind of the sutras there in the education. So you lead prosperous life. Your hands should speak, not your mouth only. The third, to fulfill, fulfilled in relation. Sambandho me tripti ho. The fourth one, to participate in any order. Whatever is happening in your society, everywhere, you have to participate in that. If you are educated, these four 
are the symptom of your education. I don't want your certificate to show me. I will see your participation in the society and resolve. If then we, I can claim that you are educated. That's why Rotary and Dr. Yogi Devraj Ji, I said, and to Ravi Shankar Ji, because he said me, he prepared me to speak on this nice platform of the Rotary. So thanks to everyone. Now, entrepreneurship. The best way to predict the future is to create it. In ancient time, my country was golden bird. Sone ki nad, when the dood ki nadia, sone ki chiriya. There was no golden, gold in everywhere. There was no golden bird. Actually, it was in society because everybody was working on entrepreneurship. If you are educated and still you are in service or under someone, then it comes. Ki bhai sahab, you can, the country cannot reach on the level. See, instead of becoming the Vishwa Guru, we have become the country of supplying servants. So we have to think on that. And I hope the people will consider it. Vivekananji said, Aap padhe likhe hai, to job nahi malik baniye. So this is what I said. So entrepreneurship is compulsory in my system. If you want, I'm not saying that everybody has to become that, but maximum number should go on that side only. Because it was in my character, I was just to sell whether in vegetable, but I will sell the best and my children will take care of that vegetable vending shop. Research and development department. Actually, there are a lot of the R&D in everywhere, in infra, in food, in arms, in transportation, everywhere. But in school, where the child is prepared, where the user is prepared, there is was no research and development. So in every school, one research and development center should be there to understand a child, environment, his sanskar, his acceptance, and then to make it, uh, combine it with the present and prepare him for the future. So every child is important, every child matters. So I designed research and development in 2007 and it is working very well. Unified lessons. I merged the all syllabus in such a way in life. Earlier, 200 years, 50 years, the child may be slow, but now the children are very capable, very fast learning people are there. So why we are teaching one topic, one part for the whole year? So I merged it in such a way with the digestive system of 6th, 7th, 8th. I merged together and children learn. That's why the sir told the 6th class children can teach the 8th class, 9th class and 10th class because it connects with them. So it goes in such a way and the education which was for the 20 year, now we can finish in 5 or 6 or 7 or depend on that. For that, I designed 40 methodologies which are classified in classroom, pedagogy and life skill. And this all is written there, life skill, parliament, this all things are there. It will be with you. You can study it. Pedagogy method, how I designed this is there. And the classroom setup, it is here. Now, the growth habit. I designed in the very small age, six growth habits I designed. The parents should learn it, society should learn it, and the children, it should transfer to the children. Because there is no negativity, only lack of positivity is there. So six habits we design. I am responsible, no negativity, all problems are by test. Gratitude, self reliant and patience and determination. I put in the children from the KG, UKG and first, and there are Many examples of the children who says that I am responsible. You are the tool or the reason, but I am responsible for this all. So I introduced in nursery and KG, UKG, because at that time, logic is not there and children accept it. So I put in their mind and their thought process and then rest word is in front of that. 21st century skill, how I, how I imbibe in my school system. So I used self-competition, body system, parliament system, because in my school, we don't teach SST. We activate it. Every month we go for the election, children do the election, MLA, counselor, minister, MP, we select. We count school as a country, classroom as a state, 
and the small group as the council. So we every month we choose them and there is no repetition. And up to the end of every child, it, you cannot stop it. Election comes in every of my school and children learn in playing mode how the teamwork, leadership, empathy, creativity is all everything they learn by practicing. You cannot, you, you need not to teach them the big, big books. Just make them practice because one answer is don't suit to others. Self-competition. Every existence has one stand and one speed. You are where you are. For changing yourself, you need a speed. And the self-competition is that mood. Don't compete with anybody else. Compete with yourself only. And bring a write a progress chart in your class. What you did, how you changed it. And really, all bully, all negativity finish. Because everybody is competing themselves only. They are not competing with the next. So why the bully will come? <coughs> Upyogitar Purakta se whole school within harmony or in synergy. And in my school, there is no PTI, no teacher running behind the children. Every child is a competitor of themselves and they enjoy life. Body system. Birds of a feather flock together. We, in Hindi, we say, Khaghi jane, khaghi bhasa better. A child knows the child better. Instead of teacher, because teacher has gone on some level. If you say, keep, come down, it is very hard for him to come on the level of the children. If the 40 children are in a classroom, believe it, it's not 40. It is a 400 or 4,000 children are there. And one mind cannot read them well. So body system I introduced, it was in a more in Gurukul system. I am not doing anything new. It is all in existence. I am just reconcile them. From bully to buddy, every child is caring, taking care of each other and children are enjoying. Parliament system, we don't teach social study, we practice it. So children learn the 21st century skill and nobody can claim any one a tea sailor can become this famous person, our very famous and very dearest Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji is there. So nobody can claim who will become the prime minister. Uh, he cannot become the prime minister. I said everybody can be the great man. So I consider them as a great man. This is the childhood period of that great man in my school. So this is the way we run, run the parliament. Then activity clubs. Actually, my all children, I have the 500 children, more than 500 children, a very small building, 700 square yard. So what we do, Every month has the four week and we have distributed our children in a four group. One work for the health, compulsory for the health. Second week, it goes to the sports for the physical test. And third week, it goes for the cultural because one instrument is compulsory to everyone. One song, any song you want to sing, it is compulsory or mandatory for everyone. And CPR and this kind of things. In my school, when you visit, children will see, sir, show me your hand. By seeing your hand, they can tell you ki, how many diseases you are carrying, how to solve it. Every child is master of that. Every child is master of CPR and this all, naturopathy, yoga, every child is. Because being a healthy, it's not a doctor job. It's not a society job. It's your job. If you are not a healthy, it is your mistake. It's not a mistake of the others what we believe and we have introduced these things in our school and children enjoy this. That's why the attendance rate goes to 96, 97%. Even I took three government school, the attendance rate was 96, 95. And government was very surprised. Ki why the children are this much? They are not going on, on the hospital and the disease side. Even one of my child when he was in hospital, Morning, he jumped from the hospital and came to school. <clears throat> After three or four days, I came to know he's in hospital. He said, no, I want to be in my school. So this is how you create a place. School is not a prison. It is a place everybody should come. It is a place where discussion should happen. It is a place for discussion, for correction, 
for celebration this place is there if the celebration is there everybody will like to come school so i designed activity club socially strong freedom fighter like bhagat singh are not made in a one day generally we claim we, we assume ki bhagat singh will come to the next door and this and that no every child is bhagat singh name is different so how we can create the bhagat singh how we can create the socially strong i told you earlier 10 to 90% 80 or 20% see it is a failure of the 80% where 20% has gone it is a failure of the 90% where the 10% has gone because how they are born they are born from our side only so socially strong system i teach in school from body to group if your body is not good correct him from body to group group to class class to school and school to society if then nothing happen wrong will happen in my school small school many fruit trees are there many things are there but i didn't find any child is doing any wrong with them and no pti no any measurement system is there because children are standing against the social odds of the society so many channel has sued this serials on this and every child is a story situation creation region and creativity to new for increasing curiosity we before teaching any lesson we goes on the situation how it came in existence and every child connect with themselves and then teacher doesn't need to do hard labor children themselves they start and catch the things self directed learning see how you can read this lesson how you can read the situation how you can work whatever we are teaching in our school so it is not just for learning if you become the dm of any state then how you will understand this state what the problems are there what you learn for your life and state and how you can communicate it it works everywhere even every part of the life so it's a self directed learning children from second onward they use it and they create the new things because being a scientist it's a attitude it's a habit you are not a just by chance or by accident you become the scientist 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 nature is a habit like it clouds comes in a rainy season one scientist says what the plus or minus is there one the poet says the clouds are carrying my wife letter my dearest letter so being a poet or scientist it is attitude which which we should which we should show during our school time every person should have the scientific attitude so we by this uplc from second onward we apply it and children enjoy this then no need of the good faculty or this all is required and it's not new for the indian generation it is the modern way of ancient teaching method used in nalanda or taxila and this all grs group reciprocal and responsibility system everybody is responsible for the next one and that body is for the as a reciprocal is taking care of them how the bully will enter in my system so in the whole world generally you find the good ratio is one teacher and 10 student in my school on the lighter note i say there are the 10 teacher and one student is there then people assume me as a very rich person but no it is because of the group reciprocal and group responsibility system 10 teacher for the one children is there because children are teaching to each other not faculty members see how they are doing the photos are there then center work to find the future of the subject yes pal committee said very earlier and this all mathematics science and this social studies these are the tools to know the existence existence is the syllabus is the curriculum these mathematics science are the tool to understand this existence so center work is there five groups are in every class one research and creativity construction math and science role play in language if you want to learn about the taj mahal one group will work on the research and creativity 
second how it constructed third is what the math science is there fourth is role play what was its role in economical political social and this all and the four, fifth one what the languages what the name is used in that in this way they understand the chapter and really no no need to repetition and no need to the senior classes children enjoy after that they goes on the debate side discussion side am i able this is a self assessment system because muni model is the child centric model where the children decide themselves child centric model means self learning self assessment self evolution and self competition and participation in society so am i able how they learn themselves what for they are able because if you understood any chapter doesn't your color is going to change when you teach the next five we understand you are able to <coughs> you have grasped it completely so in this way we every child check themselves inherent potential discovery system generally every person in the whole world has come for some purpose they are not a useless they are not a if without use they are here for that purpose we have designed last from last 17 year we are testing the people on the astrology side palmistry side dmit psychology graphology numerology and then we test to the test means whatever the report has come then we test to the family parents mother and father and it is near about 2 hours in visual questionnaire is there we test them then we check we match with this reports and it goes very well some people will say ki that astrology and this is not authentic then the reader is somewhere not correct and we have not not left anything we have included everything then eclave system is there eclave means how you can understand the things you know the eclave because he was without guruji and he learned the archery way of archery which was practiced by six or seven people in all yugas so eclave system is there how we can do later on i will clear it more revival day every thursday is a guru day but for the outsiders we say it's a revival day you have practiced it what you learned in the five days kitchen garden generally it's not a only for kitchen garden to give them the values how this food comes on your plate how much time it take what much how much labor it take patience it take so children don't understand it they understand only mal ki 10 rupees they give 100 rupees they give and it is enough finish then we ask them to sow the small vegetables like a cabbage radishes and the carrot and this kind of small within one month and half two months it comes on the ground then we say two day the price of the carrot or radishes or cabbage is 20 rupees per kg you take 20 rupees i am going to destroy your carrot destroy your radishes and this children said no don't destroy it you purchase from outside then our purpose is to tell them what the values of these things are there so this for kitchen garden is designed for that only we have 700 square yard school so it is on the top of the building and works very well traffic rules in every school this is my muni science every school this zebra crossing in front of the doors and <coughs> yellow line is pasted there means you cannot overtake it and children from the last 15 year you put a, we we have the cameras you will not find a kg class child or ukg class child who can break this rule because when in school they find every person even ki me and my guest everybody they find the that they are following the traffic rules so children also learn it i don't claim ki that every child will follow that outside but he will feel guilty that i can claim you and just one two or three month before what happened some professor from the L, uh, this iim amdavad came and second class class student was showing them 
So what happened? He break the rule. So after coming from the front side, he stand, he stood in front of him, and the professor told me in my office, "Can I learn the?" A big lesson, though I am professor in I am Ahmedabad. So, children has we have to learn in school only. Instead of by accident or incident they learn, they should learn from school only. And what a Muni scholar is should be to welcome in a democratic school of the brave new world where for impossible we act immediately but miracles came. How the head should be, it should be intellectually strong. How the your chin should be personality developed who, and how you are. Thought it should be melodious and pure and daily form. How your right hand should be socially strong uh, against all odds of society. Left physical strong body should be spiritual and emotional strong, and your leg should be on right leg positive attitude. Thinker understand and right, it should be followed with the right behavior. This is what we expect as a Muni scholar. And we refuse to accept limitation. Every child is capable. Thank you.